What's going on? It's crack -a everyone. So today I'm starting the burn caster project. I'm going to take this beautiful piece of swamp ash. Boy, it is beautiful. And I'm going to add a little contour cut to this beautiful piece of swamp ash. And I'm going to add the contoured heel to it as well, which I do to most of my guitars. Um, never burned a guitar. This could be a disaster. Let's find out. Let's go. 100 grit. I hate lining these things up. Okay, I don't think we're gonna mistake it for a strat, but yeah, man, that's what I'm after. Some nice girly curves. This is just all for comfort when you're playing it. So yeah, it could be a little bit of uh, Telecaster sacrilege, but you know, I'm all about the instrument and its playability and comfort's part of that playability. All right, again, it's all personal preference, but you know, I just shave it down nice and comfortably. Just so when you get up here, you got some access. All right, just gonna hit the body up with some 220 here. And then we're gonna get Bernie with it. Guys, look at this stunning piece of swamp ash. It's two piece body, bought it off eBay. I'll put the uh, link to the uh, seller's uh, info in the uh, link below, the description below. And if you guys wanna purchase something of similar ilk, uh, I highly suggest this. This is about a hundred bucks, which, you know, for that quality of swamp ash it's a little heavy not gonna lie but uh it's beautiful man it's moment of truth time uh i can't take this back after i start burning it now so i hope this goes good i'm gonna change the angle see if i can get you guys a little closer before i go super super burn
to shaping the paddle headstock on this Hal neck that I got. So I'm gonna use a little bit of a chop saw around, cut off some of these square edges, speed up the process, and then I finish it off with a Dremel. It's usually not that exciting and probably you all would give me a bunch of shit about how I do it anyway. So <laughs> I'm just gonna do that one off camera. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here it is in all its glory. I told you I wouldn't bore you with all the build details, but maybe I should have because this thing came together sweet. I'm very pleased with how this turned out. Um, so baked maple neck, baked maple fretboard. Uh, this is all ash, body's ash, the pit guard's ash, regular Tele three-way volume tone. Um, obviously the brass saddles kind of adds that special touch to it. Hip shot lock and tuners, I add those on all the guitars. Uh, and then the other special thing, which I'll make another video of. I like making these videos for you guys. Uh, are the Seymour Duncan Antiquity Tele pickups. They're based like after uh, 1953, I wanna say Telecaster. So this is a Alnico 2, an Alnico 5 in the neck, and it sounds fantastic. Yeah. I'll uh, leave some uh, picture porn of it as we end this video. But uh, thanks for watching. Please take care, love one another. I'll see you guys on the next episode. Peace out.